All right. Good morning. The reason I am here is I decided last minute to go to Valencia for the day and, and for a night. Um, they have a festival called Las Fallas and it's um, all this artwork that is created out on the streets and then they have a huge bonfire at the end of the night at like 10 o'clock at night and they burn everything and it's a really, it's supposed to be an amazing festival, it's something you can't miss and I decided last minute I, I might as well do it and that's the wonder of living here in Spain is I can hop on a train um, it's four hours driving, but it's two hours to take the train to get to Valencia. I, get, I booked my ticket last night. Um, that's just something you, you can't do in the U.S. Like, you, <laughs> there's nowhere to really go, and there's no train to take you there. There's not cool festivals like Las Fallas, um, you know, around the country here in Spain. So I'm super excited. I'm going to check it out. And, um, yeah. Valencia with Nick, so and Andy. Yeah, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's just eating along. <laughs> so we are here in Valencia. It is raining, unfortunately. We did not get good weather, but we are just trying to eat quickly so then we can walk around in the rain <laughs> and see the art. And then we're going to the beach to have some paella. So these are the things that they're gonna burn tonight in the crema. How cool is that though? So Emily was just telling me about what Fayez is all about. So it's, I guess, a long time ago, <laughs> they, the, um, the people that lived in Valencia, they would burn all of their old items that they had around the house, clothing, um, as a way to like welcome um, spring and, and move from winter to spring. And so eventually, the, the, when they set it on fire, the items started to look like sculptures. And so they eventually decided to make sculptures um, and then it's now evolved into like this giant art project and you see these all across the city and then they burn them all like they did many many years ago so it's kind of crazy to like look at all of this art like beautiful work that probably people spent months and weeks working on and then they burn it all and it's all gone <laughs> and they have a whole new set next year so um, yeah that's the history of uh, what this festival is all about what, so we decided to get ponchos <laughs> because it's raining so we have pink oh, and pink. green and blue so we're basically and easter eggs now, so. and there's no rain now and, and now no it's literally rain. stopped raining <laughs> but you know what we're prepared for later we are yeah. prepared for later we're it's more of a warm thing yes. too but yeah. yeah we're gonna street party in our Easter egg outfit. Yeah. Because there is like one that's like the winner and it gets burned last, I think. So. I it just didn't get burned, right? Or maybe it doesn't get burned. Oh, we clearly don't like know nothing about this. <laughs> We are like I feel like all of my vlogs are always like I think this is how it goes or there's something about this or I don't really know how this goes. <laughs> so we have no idea. That looks like an important one. Maybe it gets burned. Maybe it's just a normal one. Who knows? Look, it's Baby Yoda. <laughs> it's the house of Dali. Which in St. Pete, we all know who that is because of the Dali Museum. Stop homophobia. Liberty, fun. I like this one. So 
So Annie showed me a picture of this yesterday and it was not complete. Like these are all flowers. Um, and it was like wooden, like bare wood. And so everyone made an offering yesterday. They brought the flowers to finish this. And it's super impressive. But this is all made out of flowers. It looks so cool. This one's sponsored by MasterCard and American Express. <laughs> but it's really cool behind the backdrop of this like, old castle looking thing. Here at a restaurant in Valencia by the beach, we purposely came here to get some paella because this is where you get paella. I know everyone thinks it's from Spain, it is, but it's really a Valencian dish. So we're here to try it. It looks amazing so far. I've seen a couple, um, a couple dishes of it come through. So we are going to sample some amazing paella here in Valencia. Yeah. Oh, salud. Salud. Salud! Gracias. All right, here it is, our paella. Woo! Yeah. Emily, are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But here we go. Okay. It's very flavorful. <laughs> very good. Yes, definitely come get your paella from Valencia. <laughs> so this is one that won, I think, second place. It's huge. And it's really impressive. And see, these people you can pay to go inside the barrier and get closer look. Um, so that's what they're doing. But yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> I was just saying with all the firecrackers and everything, like this is what I imagine or as close as I'll probably hear to a war. <laughs> like you're just walking down the street and all of a sudden you hear super loud noise and it sounds like a bomb or like a <laughs> like someone getting shot. <laughs> but Part of the festival here. You can kind of hear it now. <laughs> We're not under attack. <laughs> not. This is part of the festival. <laughs> so the other cool thing about these is they're supposed to be like a 360 um, display. So you should be able to walk around the whole thing and you get a different view um, depending on where you are. So like this it's clearly the front, but the other side had some writing on it. And then, and then this way, you have, you know, this, this part of the scene here is facing you. So it really is, depending on where you come from, you see a different part of the sculpture. So this is the one that won, and it is incredibly impressive. The level of detail, it doesn't even look real. It looks fake. <laughs> but they made this. And we're not sure if this one gets burned or not. We haven't figured it out. Some people have said it gets saved and goes in a museum, but I can't imagine. I mean, it's huge. But maybe it does. I don't know. But impressive. Definitely worth checking out. So these are buñuelos, but I don't know how to say it properly. Buñ buñuelos, <laughs> and they're like fried kind of donuts, but they have pumpkin, I guess, pumpkin flavored. So Emily got some for us, and there's some sugar on them, and we are going to enjoy. Okay, so here we go. Oh, they're like warm. Yes, they're very warm. They're very warm, and they just came out. They're definitely fried. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. It's so hot. It is. They're fried. They're not too sweet, which is amazing. They have like some sugar on the top, obviously. 
you kind of get a, a kind of a pumpkin flavor, but not like a strong like like in America when you have pumpkin spice everything or other, like you taste like overpowering pumpkin. It doesn't taste like that, but it's like fried and kind of chewy and delicious. I love the fact so. that it's chewy. Yes, Sorry. the chewy part is really good. yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, you're I, good. I, I love the fact that it's chewy. I love undone things. And look at the inside, you guys. It's literally it's like so not cooked on the inside. And <laughs> it's not cooked. <laughs> so you, when you come to Valencia, you have to get paella, and then I butchering how to say this when when. Buenuelos. <laughs> Buenuelos. <laughs> it's a hard word. Our taxi driver like corrected us too. <laughs> and Emily's like, it's a hard word. <laughs> you ready to party? Yes. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this has literally been happening all afternoon. Like oh. there'll be like a firecracker or something, and we're like, <gasps> yeah, all afternoon. <laughs> and I was able to capture her reaction to that one. That was fun. I'm exposing Emily to my craziness. So <laughs> we, so they're starting to set up to get the burn ready. So they've like pushed us all back with these barriers, and it's what seven seventeen, and the burn doesn't start until eight. But I'm like, I want to be here at the front <laughs> to Let video just, and everything. <laughs> and Let me just tell your vlog something when you're done. Okay, go for it. Okay, so. So Nick, right now, in this moment, is being a fangirl for the, for the Fayas. Like, he's being a fangirl. Like, this is what I used to do when I was a fangirl. And you're being a fangirl. Well, yeah. So I'm being a fangirl of the Fayas, because I'm like, I want to be in the front row. This is what we came for. And now, oh, they're see, they're taking the tent down. So we get to watch them prepare this. The Star Wars one is right behind us, too. So that is cool. Um, yeah. Here we go, it's getting closer. Okay, so this is why you go to things early because we realized they moved it from over there where we had a front row seat <laughs> to here um, in the middle of the street on this pallet, but we had enough time and we realized what was going on. So we snuck up to the front row still. So Emily is super excited she's with me right now. You know what I am? I really am. I'm not even joking with you, I am. And now it's raining too, so um, we're gonna have a fire in the rain, I guess. <laughs> That's the best part of it all. Yes. <laughs> all right, stay tuned. We're getting closer for the fire, which should be right here unless they move it again. <laughs> we're getting closer. That guy is stabbing it with something. I don't know. But it's like eight o'clock. Everyone's getting ready. So we're like 20 minutes late and people are getting restless now. <laughs> Ooh, hi, Annie. So close to us. While we're waiting for our fire. Okay, so she's lighting it. She's like in traditional garb over there. And so then she's lighting the rope. She's trying to light the rope. <laughs> Here we go. So I thought it would be like a bigger fire, honestly. I thought it would be like, maybe it'll get there, maybe it'll get there. Ooh, it's warm now. Oh, look at this black cloud. <laughs> that can't be healthy, right? <laughs> All these chemicals probably burning. <laughs> We're also on the perfect side because the wind isn't blowing the smoke into us. <laughs>
Goodbye winter. Hello spring. Hola spring. Hola primavera. Now the fire is getting going. There we go. Woo! <laughs> You can hear it sizzling. Woo. Death and destruction and happy music. say goodbye to Valencia and here's kind of just my concluding thoughts Valencia was never high on my list of places to travel to it's not that I don't like Valencia and nothing against it but there were so many other places in Spain that I had higher on my list when I had the opportunity to come I had some friends here I was like you know what go for it and I'm so glad that I did because Valencia is wonderful. It is charming, it's a bigger city. So it's like, you know, charming like Toledo or Segovia, but it's an actual city, it's big. It's much bigger than I thought it was. Um, and this festival, Las Fallas, was so cool. It's one of the coolest things that I've done. I'm not an art person, I don't really like going to museums, but this was just incredibly different than anything I'd ever seen before. And the scene was just, you know, it was a giant party. Even the weather was terrible, but everyone was having an amazing time. Um, I'm totally gonna come back. I wanna come back to Valencia and do it right and see it properly. I was only here for like 24 hours. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of love Valencia. And then, yeah, definitely come to Las Fa Fa Fallas if you can come because it is totally worth the trip.